Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome, welcome, welcome to the uh, Power Sunday with your own Dr. Tanya Williams. Grateful, thankful, and excited for another day in the land of the living. Good morning to you children of the Most High God and heirs and joint heirs with Christ. We have the righteousness of God and the evil one touches us not. Good morning to you children. Good morning. I see you coming in. Good morning. I'm excited that we have this opportunity to come together for such a time as this. The Bible declares, eyes have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things that the Lord has prepared for those that love him. And I'm excited about what the Spirit of the Lord is doing in this season, this time, and in this hour. And I'm just thankful for another day in the land of the living. So as you're coming on, share the love share the love sharing is caring and caring is sharing sharing is caring and caring is sharing and i'm just excited about what god is doing thank you so much for joining me this morning on power sunday yes on power sunday i'm grateful for the opportunity that the father has allowed us to come together for such a time as this so come on children join me as we as we come together as we come together good morning to you good morning i'm just so grateful i'm just give me an opportunity to share the love um i'm my tech person so i'm putting i'm getting everything together so just give me a minute and then we'll be ready to go i'm grateful for those of you that are joining me uh via um via um keeping a, um via facebook live via my main pages as well as my uh keeping keeping the momentum of prayer uh blessings those of you that are joining me via our conference call line thank the many of you uh, i've been bad the last two two power sundays i uh got so caught up in everything else that i forgot to go on my conference call line and my conference call people was not happy with me <laughs> they were not happy with me so i do i do apologize um i made sure of it this morning that i was on my um i was on my, my conference call line but it blessed me it let me know that people are hungry they're hungry for the word they're hungry for the uh the word of the lord that 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 goes forth and i'm excited so good morning to you and welcome 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 so as we as we come on today i'm just grateful for the opportunity that the lord has allowed us to come together for such a time as this great is our god and just greatly to be praised and i want to again thank you so much for joining me today for for power sunday and again um i know that god is doing some great things and it shall spring forth yes it does it shall spring 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 forth and i'm uh, excited about that so as we go throughout this awesome and this blessed day uh again um for those of you that would like to stay uh connected uh we have many different uh platforms for for you to stay connected with me you can stay uh connected via my my website at drtanyawilliams.com also too you can connect with us via via our ministry number at 1-888-950-8048 1-888-950-8048 and i'm telling you there'll be somebody there uh to minister to you and and meet meet whatever needs that you might have uh in this hour and uh again you know to let you know what's going on in the ministry the different things that we are doing and and i'm good and i'm great and i'm grateful for that so for those of you that are interested by all means you can come and you can be a part of something great amen you can be a part of something great and um i'm thankful for that so um you can be a part again dr tanya williams uh at one eight 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 nine five zero eight zero four eight or a website dr tanya williams.com also too i'm on facebook i'm on youtube i'm on twitter 
Instagram, Snapchat. Uh, what else do guys have me on? Um, they have me on almost everything. Uh, I don't know if I'm on that. If, if me personally is on everything, but whatever is out there, they 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 got me out there. So again, come and stay connected. I have an awesome team that makes sure that I am good, and they make sure that the things that the the, the things that I need. Are, are definitely established and I'm really I really thank God for them and for those of you that are a part of a uh, ministry I have what is called the aroma of prayer which is every Monday Wednesday and Friday Monday Wednesday and Friday at uh, 6 30 a.m. and then on Saturday I have 10 a.m. which is our power gathering for those of you that are part of the power gathering you actually get chance to see me you actually get a chance to see me uh, on Power Gathering. I actually go go live. I've been going live from from the church, and uh, yesterday I actually went live from my home, and um, it's just really refreshing. I know many of you are like, "Oh, Doc, we miss you." So I'm glad, and I'm working on uh, for Sunday morning. You gotta understand, Sunday morning nine o'clock. You know, it's a lot. <laughs> so, uh, but you definitely see me. Uh, you'll see, you'll probably most likely see me next week. Next week, week, week I will be going live physically, and you'll be able to see me. Amen. So again, um, stay them connected. DrTanyaWilliams.com or Ministry Number One Eight 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 Nine Five Zero Eight Zero Four Eight Aroma Prayer every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also to a uh, power gathering at 10 a.m. and power Sunday at 9 a.m. And um, for those of you who, who, who do not have uh, social media, you always can go on YouTube and you can listen. Uh, you can watch the videos. Also, too, you can call our conference call line at one 232 Again, one 232 And uh, the access code is 407-862. 407 Eight six two, and again, you can connect with us via YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, Periscope. Also, to I am on TrueLifeRadio.net. Uh, you can come and be a part. Amen. Amen. So enough of that, and I want to share the word of the Lord that the Lord has given me for this hour, the season, and this time. Yesterday I began, and then the Lord just shifted me to a whole nother place. So I want to share what the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, has given me uh, for yesterday, and really expound on it today. So those of you that was there yesterday, you guys got a totally different message from what I'm going to share on today. But the topic is the same. Uh, I want you to prophesy to to um, yourself for those of you that are listening to the sound of my voice i see each and every one of you that had joined me god bless you i see my 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 oh i see all of you on the line thank you thank you thank you okay so uh you this what one, one thing i love about you guys i had my uh tech people working uh with me yesterday when i was going live from home and they were doing all the work today. Today I'm doing it. So, you know, if it's a little, you know, it's no, it's me. <laughs> but um, but yesterday they said that you have really good engagement. Your people are really engaged and they really comment and really engage. So I thank you. I thank you for, for the engagement. It lets me know that my labor and my work is not in vain. Amen. So again, what do I teach you guys? I tell you the power of death and life is in the words that you speak. So when I tell you to repeat after me, you put it in the comments, you speak it in the atmosphere, you, you send it on assignment. Amen? You send it on assignment. So I want you to lay your hands on yourself. I want you to prophesy in the atmosphere as well as put it in the comments. Uh, the oil has my name on it. Yes, sir. The oil has my name on it. Yes, it does. The oil has my name on it. Yes. Uh huh. No matter who tries to do what I've been called to do, who tries to go where I've been called to go, who tries to be who, who God has called me to be, when there is an anointing that is for that specific purpose, that assignment, my name is on it. Yes, sir. My name is on it. No matter who they bring before, who... Who, who man tries to designate 
for that particular situation, you got to know this. My name is on it. Yes, sir. My name is on it. That's right. I see you. I see you. The oil has my name on it. Yes, it does. The oil has my name on it. I'm going to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 21. And the Bible says, Now he who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God. Okay. Who anoints us? God is the one that anoints us. He is the one that have chosen us from the foundation of the world. Yeah, he he is the one. The Bible says before we were formed in the belly that he what he knew us. Uh, he knew what he has ordained for our life. He knows what he has purposed for our life. And I'm excited about what God has has in store. You know, many of you, you know, we've only got a glimpse of the things that the Lord, the Lord desires to do. But the Bible. Bible declares that he will do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can even ask or think. Yes, sir. He will do exceedingly and abundantly. And I want you to prophesy in the wind and say, God is getting ready to blow my mind. Yes, he is. God is getting ready to blow my mind. I don't care where I find myself in this season of my life. I might be challenging my finances. I might be challenging my home. I might be challenging my relationships. I might be challenged on my job. I might, I'm, I'm, I might be challenged and my health, uh, wherever the challenge might be, uh, you got to know one thing, that it won't be like this, uh, God is not only turning things around, uh, but he's getting ready to blow my mind, uh, uh, yes, yeah, sometimes we look and we say, well, we start to look at our situation, uh, and the devil tries to put ashes to ashes and dust to dust on it. Uh, but I serve a God with resurrection power. Uh, anybody on this line serves a God with resurrection power. Uh, yes, we serve a God with resurrection power. And when it looks like it's down, when it looks like it's out, and it looks like it's over, I come to let you know that God shows up and shows up in a great and a mighty way. Yes, sir. He shows up in a great and a mighty way. Uh, uh, and I want you to create in the atmosphere. That, that what God has for me is for me. Uh, I feel like I'm going to get happy today. Uh, uh, see, I'm in my house today so I can get up and I can run around this room. Uh, but I want to let you know that what God has for me is for me. Uh, and no devil in hell can stop it. No, no devil in hell can stop it. No devil in hell can stop it. Uh, no devil in hell can stop it. Uh, uh, because what God has established for for, for me. It has my name on it. Amen. Ah, God has my name on it. Ah, ah, so when we talk about the oil, we talk about the anointing. Ah, and we hear, you know, it is the anointing that destroys the yoke. It is the anointing that lifts the burden. Ah, but what is the anointing? Ah, the anointing is the marking of a person or object ah, with oil to establish that that person or thing has been selected, chosen for a special purpose. Ah, I want you to prophesy to yourself and say, I have been selected by God. I, I have been selected by God. Do you hear me? I have been selected by God. And since, since I have been selected by God, uh, oh, it doesn't say it does it doesn't go by what people think or what people might say, but what what does it go? It goes by the word of the Lord. Uh, and we know that the word of the Lord it is powerful. Uh, we know that the word, the word of the Lord, um ah uh, in this hour, this season, and this time, um uh great, 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 great things is happening. Yes, sir. Great things is happening, huh? and we just believe God for a supernatural breakthrough. Huh? See, in the Old Testament, um, we find that objects and vessels uh, were anointed huh, to be used in the temple. When we look and we read in the book of Leviticus, huh, we look at the uh, 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 particular things that the Father hasn't prescribed uh, in this hour. For us to follow through, uh, we noticed that objects and vessels, uh, they were what they were selected uh, for such a time as this to what to be anointed. Uh, and the reason why they were anointed, uh, because they were chosen for a specific purpose. Uh, do you hear me? They were chosen for a specific purpose. Uh, and because they were chosen for a specific purpose, uh, they were chosen to operate in the temple. Uh, they were chosen to operate in the temple. Uh, and because they were chosen to operate in the temple uh 
it, 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 it identified that what they belong to God uh, and they were strictly used for the purpose of worship. Uh, they were strictly used and sanctified uh, and set apart for the things of God. Uh, the same way that God anointed and the, the people anointed the vessels um, uh, is this, and the objects is the same way uh, that God anoints each and every one of us. Yes, uh -huh. we have been anointed for a purpose, a plan, a reason, and a season. Uh, do you hear me? We have been uh, we have been chosen for such a time as this. Uh, uh, when we go to the Bible, the Lord anointed prophets. Um, uh, priests were uh, anointed. King, kings were anointed. Um, and they were chosen by God. Uh, why? Because they were anointed for their assignment. Uh, yeah, they were anointed for their assignment. Um, and the anointed carried a level of endorsement. Uh, whose endorsement? It was God's endorsement. Uh, but not only his endorsement uh, it also was his endowment um, dr williams endowment yes uh -huh. when we look up the word endowment it means someone who who builds someone uh um it's like it's like uh when we look it up the act and process of endowment something that is endowed uh, specifically it has been set apart uh it, there 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 is an empowerment that is that is given to it so when we look that not only does god endorse us but he also give us what we need uh understand this that where there is vision there will be provision uh, and our god will provide yes he does he always does uh, but we got to have the faith believe and trust to know uh, that the god that we serve uh, he will not give us something that he is not going to give through us the capability of what uh, working through the manifestation of it up uh, so the anointing carries an endorsement uh, but it carries an endowment uh, for the person that is called to the assignment um, ah, I want you to uh, know that you have been called for a great assignment yeah see everybody's not called to take a microphone and preach uh, but wherever your sphere of influence is uh, wherever God desires to use you he might use you in your home he might use you on your job uh, he might use you in the marketplace. Uh, wherever God decides to use you, uh, you do it with all of your heart, with all of your might, and God will bless you. Huh? Because that is your specific assignment. Uh, sometimes we feel that, you know, unless our name is in lights uh, and everybody know our name, that we that we have arrived. Uh, but we got to understand that the perfect place in the whole wide world uh, is where it's in the will of God. Uh, and when we are in the will of God, uh, there's a peace in the world of God. Uh, when we are in the will of God, there's a joy in the will of God. Uh, when we're in the will of God, uh, there are things that will start to line up in our lives. Uh, and what the devil meant for harm and what the devil meant to try to take us down, God will just raise us back up. Yes, 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 yes. So when we think about the oil uh, and the Bible talks about uh, the oil being symbolic of the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, and the word anoints means to pour over or to smear into. Uh, it means to anoint. Uh, it means to pour over or to spear or, or to smear into. Uh, so what am I saying to you today? Uh, the anointing with oil uh, represents the Holy Spirit uh, pouring out on you uh, and smearing into the Lord. When you smear into something, uh, you're getting all down in the crevices. Uh, when you smear into something, uh, you're getting in the deep, 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 dark, the, 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 the deep places. Uh, see, I, this is the hour now. Uh, that I want the Holy Spirit to pour on me. Uh. Anybody want the Holy Spirit to pour? Uh. Anybody want the Holy Spirit to go deep down? Uh. Yeah, Holy Spirit, go deep, 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 deep down. Uh. Oh, Holy Spirit, uh, pour out on us. Uh. Smear into us, God. Uh. Uh, because the anointing comes uh, to do what it comes as a specific application of the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, to bring transformation uh, and to bring enablement. Uh. It comes to transform us. Ah, uh, uh, will be ye transformed uh, by the renewing of our minds. Uh, there's a transformation, children of God, uh, that is happening in this hour and this time. Because uh, you got to know this uh, and hear me and hear me clearly uh, that it is the anointing that makes the difference. Uh, people are gifted. People 
pe people can look the part, they can sound the part, but it's the anointing that makes the difference. Huh? It is the anointing on our life. Huh? It's the anointing on our gifts. Huh? It's the anointing on our talents. Huh? It's the anointing on our skills. Huh? It's the anointing on our call huh? ah, that makes the difference. Huh? It makes us powerful. It makes us fruitful. Huh? Yes, it does. Huh? You know, many times you can see people huh? and it seems like they have eloquent words. They're able to do what they do. And it seems like they do it well. Oh, but where is the yoke destroyed and burden lifting? Oh, where is the change that happens when the anointing comes? Oh, you can tell there, there, there's time. I'm going to be honest with you. I can go and I, I can watch uh, many different ministries that you can see and the, 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 the sermons are eloquently you know lined up and it's just very very well thought out and profound and it's wonderful and then you get somebody from the back from the back side of the hills uh, that come with the word uh, and they might not be be, be they, they 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 might not have put their verbs and their nouns together and their adjectives and the adverbs all over the place uh, oh but when they open up uh, their mouth you feel the power of God uh, when they open up their mouth you feel the presence of God uh, when they open up their mouth you feel the anointing of God uh, see this is the hour this is the time now uh, that we want to walk in the anointing ah uh, yes 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 Yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, I want to be oily. I want to be oily. Uh, anybody on this line this morning want to be oily? Uh, yeah, it's time now to walk in the anointing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too many times, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I teach and don't, and I mean, I can say this because I've done it. I, I have been through seminary. I know what seminary is about. I'm not knocking seminary, but you got to know what to eat and you got to know what, what to spit out. And sometimes we can take too much time debating things uh, that it doesn't really mean, that doesn't mean to even be debated. Uh, There's certain things that you got to know. You got to know what this word says, but not only know what the word says, uh, you got to believe this word. Uh, for many years, I taught a general Bible one class. Uh, and one of the things I used to tell them on the first night of my class I used to have um in-house anywhere from 30 to 35 students and I used to sit in the class and as I was teaching the class uh, I would say to the students I say you can come to this class and learn Genesis to Revelations uh, but if you miss the God of the Bible uh, the purpose of you coming to Bible school has been in vain uh, I said I thank God that you can rattle off to me the 39 books in the Old Testament and the 27 in the New and you could tell me what it, what it was written in and you could tell me who wrote it in the time period and you could give me the history behind it and the timelines uh, that's all together wonderful uh, ah but do you know the God of Abraham uh, do you know the God of Elijah uh, do you know the God of Paul and Peter uh, do you know the God ah uh, uh, I just don't want to know of him uh, I want to know him ah uh, uh, this is what we want to know in this hour ah uh, uh, we want to get a great relationship with the Lord uh, we want to get strengthened uh, we want to get, get get charged up in this hour ah uh, uh, for it what I told you um uh that it it is the anointing uh, that comes on us, uh, that gives us that divine empowerment. Ah, uh, uh, because the oil in this hour has your name on it. Uh, I want to tell you that there's an oil out there with your name on it. Uh, there's an oil out there. Uh, and once you know and locate and understand what your oil is, ah, uh, uh, you will be the most productive person. Uh, you will be the most fruitful person. Uh, sometimes we find so much uh, that people are trying to be somebody else. Uh, but just just be yourself in this hour. Just be yourself in this time. Just be who God has called you to be. Just do what God has called you to do. Just stand firm in the things that God has called you to stand firm in. And you will watch God do supernatural things in your life. You will watch God change things in, in your life. Because the anointing is effective. Oh, when the anointing is upon us, not only it is upon us, but it abides within us. The anointing gives us the unction. Um, it gives us the quickening. Uh, it gives us the ability. Uh, 
Yes, it does. Uh, it gives us the ability uh, and the grace to operate uh, and the grace to move uh, uh, and the grace to do what God has called us to do. Uh, just like I said earlier uh, in First John chapter 2 and verse 20, uh, but you have an anointing, uh, an unction from the Holy One, uh, and you know all things. Uh, uh, the Holy Spirit will give you an unction. Uh, uh, he's not going to leave you out there by yourself. Uh, oh, no. He's not going to leave you out there by yourself. Uh, oh, but when you're walking the anointing huh? When you walk in the unction uh, of the Holy Spirit, ah, uh, uh, just like I said in Second Corinthians, ah, uh, one and twenty-one, ah, uh, even the Apostle Paul wrote it, ah, uh, that God was still in the anointing business. Yes, ah, uh, God is still anointing people. Ah, uh, see, it's so many times, ah, uh, we want to get so caught up, ah. Uh, and the theology of things uh, that we miss the pres prescribed things uh, that the Lord placed in the word. Uh, he said, yes, I want you to learn of me. Uh, the Bible tells us to study to show yourself approved. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Uh, rightly dividing the word of truth. Uh, yeah, you want to be like the Berean students. Uh, you want to search the scriptures uh, and make sure those things are so. Uh, oh, but with all of that word, uh, you want to have an anointing with it. Uh, oh, Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, hi, I'm a shot. Uh, you want to have an anointing uh, to lay hands on the sick uh, and the sick shall recover. Uh, have you ever been uh, where you're listening to somebody and they just putting you to sleep uh, because there's no fire behind it? Uh, and let me tell you something. Uh, it has nothing to do with the emotion behind it. It has nothing to do with it because you could have somebody do a straight teacher and the oil be on that straight teacher and it just stirs you up. Uh, see, for me, you know, one of my favorite teachers, one of my favorite teachers uh, is Charles Stanley. A lot of people don't like him, uh, but I love Charles Stanley. Uh, he didn't hoop, he didn't holler, he didn't hikama, and he, he didn't mashaya, but the word was so profound. Uh, and the man has an, uh, he had an anointing on him uh, to teach the word of God. Uh, and I would look forward to him. He used to come on Sunday mornings, I think eight, either 8 or 9 o'clock. Uh, and I would sit there and I would watch him. Uh, and for that hour, it would just be so, so profound. Uh, because the way the man would just break the word of the Lord down uh, and the teaching was so great. Uh, see, you see, you got to know and understand uh, that there, that when it doesn't matter uh, how emotional you get, uh, but when the anointing is on something, uh, it brings life. Uh, when the anointing is, is on something, uh, it changes life. Uh, I remember one day that Charles Stanley, he was teaching on forgiveness. Uh, and let me tell you something, he didn't hoop and holler, but as he was teaching, the tears was rolling down my face. He was teaching on Joseph. Uh, i never forget it. Uh, and the tears was rolling down my face. Uh, and he was just ministering and ministering and ministering. Uh, and I'm telling you, he didn't kick his foot up. He didn't run around the room, but the oil was on that teacher. Uh, see, I come to let you know, uh, there's power in the oil. Uh, ah, there's power in the oil. There's power in the oil. Uh, ah, there's power in the oil. Uh, I want you to prophesy that in the realm of the spirit. Uh, there is power in the oil. See, the Lord has anointed us. He's anointed us by his presence and he's anointed us by his power. Ah, the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, ah, his presence is there and his power is there. Yes, sir. His presence is there, uh, and his power is there. Uh, his presence is there, uh, and his power is there. Uh, and children of God, you got to know in this season and this hour, huh, the same way uh, that the Spirit of the Lord has spoken uh, is the same way he has for you. Uh, uh, I wanted to share a little Bible story with you. I always tell you, babies, I'm an Old Testament baby. I love the Old Testament, but I do give some New Testament examples. Uh, uh, I think about a man uh, that was chosen for a specific oil. Uh, uh, and everybody else counted it out. Uh, oh, but God didn't count them out. Uh, I come to let you know that you have not been you, you might have been counted out by man, uh, but you have not been counted out by God. Uh, do you hear me? You might have been counted out by man, uh, but you have not been counted out by God, uh, because God has placed your name on this next level oil. Yes, he has. Uh, God has placed your name uh, in this next level oil. Ya time I show. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, let me bring it in. Uh -huh. uh, God has placed your name uh, on this next level oil. Uh, they can't steal it. Uh, they can't lie about it. Uh, they can't manipulate it. Uh, they can't do all kinds of things. Uh, this is the hour now uh, that your name is on this oil. Uh, 
Do you hear me, children of God? Uh, this is the hour now that your name uh, is on this oil. Uh, see, the Bible says uh, when David was anointed, uh, he became a different person. Uh, he became a different man. Uh, there was an empowerment that was placed on him. Uh, there was an empowerment that was placed on him. Uh, but oh, when they went looking for the next king, uh, he wasn't even part of the alignment. Uh, he wasn't part of the lineup. Uh, but let me let you know, uh, uh, everybody else was waiting for it. Uh, Everybody else is waiting for the oil to be poured on. Uh, but the oil recognize uh, that which it has been called to. Uh, I come to let you know uh, that the oil uh, will recognize you. Um, and you will recognize the oil. Um, just like two magnets when they come together. Uh, oh, they will connect. Uh, oh, you got to understand and you got to know. Uh, oh, you got to understand and you got to know. Uh, that no matter what happens in this hour, uh, the oil has your name on it. Uh, do you hear me? me children of God. Uh, the oil has your name on it. Uh, and first Samuel chapter 16 verse 13. Uh, the Bible says, then Samuel took the horn of oil uh, and anointed David in the midst of his brothers. Uh, and the spirit of the Lord came on David uh, from that day forward. Uh, oh, before we go there, uh, let me step back just a little bit. Uh, let me step back just a little bit uh, and let and and, and just, just just let me break this down just a little bit uh, when i go back to first samuel chapter 16 uh, samuel samuel the prophet uh, <clears throat> samuel the prophet was told uh, to stop mourning over Saul uh, Saul was the one that was chosen by God to lead the kingdom uh, oh but Saul had his own agenda uh, so the lord wanted to what anoint a new king uh, so he told samuel to go down to Jesse's house uh, and take a bottle of oil uh, it was about six quarts uh, and anoint one of his son, sons uh, and he said i will show you who he is uh, uh, do you hear me uh, god will show samuel uh, who he is uh, so he goes to jesse's house uh, and the bible says that they brought in seven of the boys uh, and they left one out in the field uh, and his name was david uh, and eliab had a presence about him uh, the scripture says in first samuel 16 and 6 ah uh, uh, so it was that when they came uh, that he that that he looked at eliab uh, and said surely uh, the lord anointed anointed is before him ah uh, uh, samuel the prophet here is going by what he can see. Uh, it Eliab looked like a king, uh, but God said, don't pour the oil on him uh, because he looks like it. Uh, his name is not on the oil. Uh, many a times, uh, people have been put in in positions uh, many times uh, people have been given levels of position and accountability uh, and they've been elevated and promoted uh, and things because they looked the part uh, uh, they sounded the part uh, but uh, the oil didn't have their name on it uh, and see sometimes when you first get them in there uh, it looks like everything's all together wonderful uh, but then after a while uh, what tends to happen uh, uh, their true colors start to show uh, uh, what tends to happen uh, you start to see things that you didn't see before huh? and then you realize you made a wrong choice huh? but see this is the hour now huh? that the oil is connected huh? to those that, that their name is on it huh? see you got to understand in this hour huh? this season and this time huh? oh, that God said huh? don't pour the oil on him huh? because he looks like just because he looks like it huh? his name is not on it huh? oh, this oil has not been designated from him because huh? what does the Bible say, um, uh, it says, but the Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance uh, or at his physical statue, um, because I have refused him, uh, for the Lord does not see as man sees, uh, uh, the Lord does not see as man sees, uh, let me tell you something, let me prophesy to this right now, uh, there have been many uh, in the midst of this pandemic uh, that have been in the backside of the mountain. Uh, God's been working on them. Uh, God's been grooming them. Uh, God's been getting them ready. Uh, but I'm telling you, there's going to be many uh, that's going to come to the forefront. Uh, uh, then you're going to say, where did they come from? Uh, and, their, and their word for, to you uh, is going to be, I have been with God. Uh, I've been on my face. Uh, I've been seeking the Lord. Uh, I've been soaking and marinating in the 
oil. Ah, uh, uh, yes, God. Uh, see, that's right. This is a time of prayer. Uh, this is a time of consecration. Uh, I thank God for the many voices uh, that are speaking in this hour. Uh, but I come to prophesy right now uh, that many of the voices uh, that are speaking in this hour uh, are not the voices for the next. Uh, they're not the voices of the next. Uh, their season is ending. Uh, and God is raising up a new people uh, with a fresh oil. Uh, God is raising up a new people uh, that have not compromised or turned their backs on God. Uh, God is raising up a new people uh, that ministry has not been for them. Uh, just just for finances. Uh, just for money. Uh, just, just for fame. Uh, just to have their name out there. Uh, but people that's going to do the will of God. Uh, people that's going to walk in the purposes of God. Uh, people that's going to walk in the assignment of God. Uh, people that's going to do what God say to do. Uh, in this hour, this season, and this time. Uh, people who steps are going to be ordered by him. Uh, there's a people uh, that's going to walk in a fresh oil. Uh, there's a people uh, that's going to walk in the anointing. Uh, and the anointing is going to be powerful in this hour. Uh, the anointing is going to be life changing. Uh, and what and what couldn't be broken uh, in the old season. Uh, there's going to be a new people uh, that raise up in this hour. Uh, that's going to have the yoke destroying. Uh, burden lifting anointing. Uh, I tear my soul. Uh, there's a healing anointing. Uh, that's birthing in this hour. Uh, there's a deliverance anointing. Uh, that's birthing in this hour. Uh, for those of you that carry a healing anointing. Uh, those of you that carry a deliverance anointing. Uh, Ah, uh, there's gonna be a demand on your oil. Uh, there's gonna be a demand on you in this hour, huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? Ah, uh, cause Corona's not going away, huh? It's getting stronger, huh? And it's build, building power, huh? But those that know their God, huh? Shall be strong uh, and do great exploits, huh? I come to let you know, huh? That the healers, huh? High on my show, huh? They're gonna be on great demand in this hour, huh? I see people getting out of wheelchairs. Uh, I see canes going to the side. Uh, I see people with two doctors report. Uh, one with a negative and one, one with a positive. Uh, oh, the negative report uh, said A, B, and C. Uh, but when they go back uh, at the after they have encountered God, uh, oh, there's going to be a change in the report. Uh, I come to prophesy. Uh, I come to prophesy to you uh, and let you know there is a changing of the guards. Uh, there is a changing of the guards. Uh, the voices of the old uh, are being silenced. Uh, and there are new voices that are coming out. Uh, people that got their ear uh, attuned to the voice of God. Uh, that's attuned to the ear of God. Uh, that's attuned to the mouth of God. Uh, and they're going to speak what? God says to speak up uh, when he says to speak it up uh, and how they said to speak it up. Uh. So what then what was I saying to you? Uh, for the Lord does not see as man sees. The Lord does not see as man sees. Uh, the Lord does not see as man sees. Uh, oh, we feel well, you know, <clears throat> they got to have a mega church. They got to have this. It's going to be the person that he pulls from the back, from, from the backwoods of Georgia or the backwoods of South Carolina is going to be the next voice. It's going to be the next voice. Ashana, mandi oto bahandi di asoko babahaya. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Ah, yada masia. See, just, they just, they tell you, even those of you uh, that are technical, uh, you got to say abreast uh, of the new things that are happening, uh, the new gadgets that are coming out, uh, the new programs that are coming out uh, to make sure that you give your customers uh, what they need and keep them on the cutting edge. Uh, children of God is the same way with God. Uh, 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 last week prayers uh, do not compare to this morning's prayers. Ah, uh, uh, morning by morning, uh, new mercies I see. Uh, morning by morning, uh, new mercies I see. Uh, morning by morning, uh, new mercies I see. Uh, oh, you got some that is dealing with the old oil. Uh, some that is dealing with the old stuff. Uh, but God said, I am refreshing. Uh, I am refreshing. Uh, I am refreshing. Uh, that's just like in your home. Uh, you 
can have it decorated the way that you like. Uh, but every now and then, it needs a new refreshing. Uh, every now and then, the living room needs new lamps. Uh, every now and then, you might have to move the furniture around. Uh, every now and then, you might have to paint the walls a different color. Uh, whatever it might be, uh, it needs a refreshing. Uh, do you hear me, children of God? Uh, there's a refreshing that needs to happen. Uh, yes, sir. There is a refreshing uh, that needs to happen. Uh, and God wants to refresh you in this hour. Huh? Oh, he don't want the old oil. Huh? Oh, yeah, because the old oil, it done got outdated. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, the, oil, the old oil has expired. Huh? Oh, but every now and then, huh, you need to get refreshed. Huh? Every now and then, huh, you need to get renewed. Huh? Oh, and Dr. Williams, how do I get refreshed? Huh? How do I get renewed? Huh? Oh, I need to connect with the Father. Huh? Yes, I do. I need to connect with the Father. Huh? I need to be refreshed and I need to be revived and I need to be restrengthened. Huh? Oh, so we see here, for the Lord does not see as man sees. Huh? For man looks at the outward appearance, huh? but the Lord looks at the heart. Huh? See, God sees the heart. Huh? Oh, God sees the heart. Huh? That's why he could proclaim, huh? don't pour the oil on him. Huh? Oh, yeah, don't pour the oil on him. Huh? See, that's why as leaders, uh, we got to hear what God is saying uh, when we're elevating. Uh, we got to hear what God is saying uh, when we're putting people in a positions. Uh, we got to hear what God is saying uh, when we're putting people on platforms. Uh, we need to hear what God is saying. Uh, because just because they look the part, they act the part. And sometimes we put people in places because they got resources uh, and they got money. Uh, but what is God saying? So uh, God said, don't pour the oil on him. Uh. So what did Samuel have Jesse do? Uh. He brought the boys before them. Uh. The rest of them that were standing there waiting. Uh. And each one, the Lord said, don't pour the oil. Huh? Don't pour the oil. Don't pour the oil. Don't pour the oil. Ah, 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 ah. Not on any one of them. Why? Because their name is not on it. Their name is not on it. Uh. Their name is not on it. Uh. Their name is not on it. Uh. So Jesse called the last one uh, and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, neither has the Lord chosen him. Uh. And he said, I'm, I'm not going to anoint this. Uh. Uh, it looks good on the outside, uh, but the heart isn't right. It's not pure. It's not clean. Uh. And Samuel asked Jesse, uh, isn't there no other? Huh? Because Samuel knew that the Lord told him that the king was there. Huh? Samuel knew huh, that the Lord said, go down to Jesse's house. Huh, and there you will find uh, that which I have called. Uh, that which I have spoken over. Huh? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, and so and so, so Samuel asked Jesse, uh, isn't there no other? Huh? The one, the one who has been counted out. Uh, the one, the, the one that he didn't even bring up to the lineup. Huh, which was David. Huh? Oh, he had to call for David. He said, yeah, there's one more. Huh? He's out in the field. Uh, he's out in the field. Uh, 1 Samuel 16 11 tells us, uh, and Samuel said to Jesse, uh, all of the young men here, uh, then he said there, there remains yet the youngest, uh, and there he is keeping the sheep. Uh, and Samuel said to Jesse, uh, send and bring him. Ah, yeah. Send and bring him. Uh, oh, but I believe something happened um, oh, as David started to get close. Um, something happened. Uh, oh, uh, now this is just me saying uh, that the oil started to jump. Uh, the oil started to bubble. Uh, oh, because that which was getting close to it, uh, it was recognizing it. Uh, uh, because it had been purposed uh, just for him. Uh, it had been called uh, just, just for him. Uh, and in 1 Samuel... Uh, 16 and 13. Uh, the Bible says, then Samuel took the horn of oil uh, and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. Ah, uh, uh, because at that moment, ah, uh, Samuel got the release. Ah, uh, uh, because God had spoken to Samuel uh, and told Samuel, this is the one. Uh, and when he anointed him uh, in the midst of his brothers, uh, he was encountered worthy uh, to be brought up in the initial lineup. Uh, he was left out there in the field. Uh, smelling like sheep, uh, smelling like goats, uh, uh, out there sweaty, uh, and all kinds of things happening. Uh, uh, but he, when he was called, uh, the horn of oil recognized him, uh, and the anointing uh, 
fell upon this man uh, in the midst of his brothers uh, and the spirit of the Lord uh, came upon David uh, from that day forward uh, and the oil recognized him. Uh, shout, uh, I want you to prophesy. Uh, I want you to prophesy to yourself. Uh, uh, the oil recognized him. The oil recognized him. Uh, the oil recognized him. The oil recognized that he was chosen and the oil agreed. He was chosen and the oil agreed. Uh, he was chosen uh, and the oil agreed. Ah, uh, uh, see, many of you, you have an oil on your life. Uh, oh, well, Dr. Williams, you know, the Lord, you know, I have an anointing on my life. Uh, God chose you for that oil. Uh, he chose you for that anointing. Uh, and do not let anybody uh, make you feel uh, any kind of way because you have been anointed uh, for this season, this time, and this hour. Uh, see, some of the, let me just be real. Okay, and I be real with you. Uh, those of you that walk in anointed, uh, let me tell you what happens to you. Uh, because you are anointed, uh, and, and depending on your level of anointing and how um, unique your anointing is, uh, people will try to shut you down. Uh, they will try to count you out. Uh, they will try to make you feel less than. Uh, they will try to keep you down. Uh, they will try to keep you quiet. Uh, they will throw you back out there in the field. Ah, uh, oh, but let me tell you something. Uh, the reason why they do that. Uh, because they're envious of the oil. Uh, the reason why they do that. Uh, because they're jealous of the oil. Uh, the reason why. But see they don't know the price that you paid. Uh, you don't know the cost. Uh, of the oil in my alabaster box. Uh, you don't know the days I cried. Uh, you don't know the days I suffered. Uh, you don't know the days that I. That I went without. Uh, you don't know what I suffered through. Uh, oh you don't know. You don't know. Uh, ah, You see my glory. Uh, but you don't know my story. Uh, you don't know the fights I had to fight. Uh, you don't know how time I saw uh, the, the demonic warfare uh, that I had to go through. Uh, you don't know the attacks on my body. Uh, you don't know the attacks on my mind. Uh, and the list goes on. Uh, oh but the Lord counted me worthy uh, to walk in the oil. Uh, he counted me worthy uh, to walk in the anointing. Uh, he counted me worthy uh, to walk in the power. Uh, oh, 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 you've been counted worthy. Uh, you've been counted worthy uh, because this oil has your name on it. Uh, Yes, it does, children of God. Uh, this oil, this oil, this oil, uh, this oil has your name on it. Uh, oh, but you know what? Bless me. Uh, let, let me go back to the scripture. Uh, and it, in First Samuel 16 and 13, uh, and it says, Then Samuel took the horn of oil uh, and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. Uh, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. But you know what? Bless me. He said, came upon David uh, from that day forward. Uh, from that day forward. Uh, do you hear me? Uh, ah, from that day forward. Uh, I come to prophesy uh, to each and every one of you and let you know uh, from this day forward, uh, I will be, I will have, I will do because my name is on. Oh, Sha. Do you hear me, children of God? Uh, I want to run, I want to run, I want to run. Uh, from this day forward, uh, I will be, I will have, I will do, uh, because my name is on it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. From that day forward, when what, when the oil was placed on him. Uh, from that day forward, uh, when the anointing was placed on him. Uh, oh, yeah, from that day forward, from this day forward, children, uh, I will be, uh, I will have, uh, I will do. Uh, why? Because my name was on it. Uh, yeah, my name was on that oil. Uh, my name was on that anointing. Uh, oh, yeah, they came me out. Uh, they threw me away. Uh, oh, I, I didn't look like a king. Uh, I didn't sound like a king. Uh, I'm a stutterer. Uh, I seem like I can't get my words together. Uh, I, I'm shy standing up in front of people. Uh, oh, but God had my name on it. Uh, I come to encourage you today. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, oh, your name, your name, your name is on it. Uh, when the anointing comes on you, huh, nobody can stop you. Uh, Oh, no one can hold you back. Uh, nobody can keep you down. Uh, uh, and let me tell you a little secret. Uh, when the anointing is on you, uh, the devil gets afraid of you. Yes, he does. Uh, uh, because he knows you got power. Um, he knows you got the divine enablement uh, to stand. Uh, he knows you got the divine enablement uh, to pursue. Um, he knows you got the divine enablement uh, to manifest uh, the things that he's speaking. Um, in this hour, this season, and this time, uh, I come to encourage you every man, every woman of God
God today. Uh, I come to encourage your heart uh, and let you know that the oil has your name on it. Yes, it does. Uh, the time I saw, uh, it wasn't man's choice, but it's God's choice. It's not man's choice, but it's God's choice. Do you hear me, children of God? Uh, it's not man's choice, but it's God's choice. He said, but, but, but what? From this day forward, David's life was never the same. David's life was never the same. When you are anointed, there is a mark that is on your life. When you are anointed, there is a mark that is on your life. People recognize the anointing. Do you hear me, children? People recognize the anointing. And let me tell you something. Just because you don't have a microphone, just because you don't stand up in front of people, don't mean that you don't have an anointing. You have an anointing to do what God has called you to do. You have an anointing for what God has called you to do. And you don't let anybody, do you hear me? You don't let anybody make you feel less than. You don't let anybody make you feel less than. Because you know what? You paid the price for what you carry. Ah, I want you to put that in the comments. I paid the price for what I carry. Yes, sir. I paid the price for what I carry. Mm. Ah, when you was home snoring with drool coming out the side of your mouth, I was on my face praying. When you was eating a full course meal, I was eat, I was eating fruits and vegetables. I paid a price for what I carry. Oh Shama, oh Toba, see, ikana nama. That's right, Dr. Thompson. From this day forward, let me go back to my notes on that because that blessed me. From this day forward, I will be, I will have, I will do. Why? Because my name is on that oil. Yes, it is. My name is on that oil. My name is on that oil. But that's right. I paid a price for what I carry. I paid a price for what I carry. Why? Because the anointing makes the difference. The anointing makes the difference. Huh? It makes the difference. Why? Because this, this young man, before the oil, took a sling, took a took a slingshot to king to kill a bear and a lion. And God used that same slingshot to take down a giant. It was divine and able. They wanted him to put on their armor. But when God is with you, you don't need their armor. You just need the armor of God. You need what God places in your hand in this hour to go forth. Ah, yes, God. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? See, God has a purpose in all that he has for you. Well, why was David shunned from his brothers? And put out in the field. Maybe they might meant it for punishment. But understand this. The Bible says in all things. Work together for the good. To those that love God. To those who are called according to his purpose. Uh, what God what God is doing in my life. It is working together for the good. Do you hear me children of God? It's working together for the good. See David was overseeing the flock of the sheep. Why? Because God was preparing him to do what? To rule, to, to, to be, to be uh, the king ruling over a nation. To be the king ruling over a nation. You got to know that you know that you know that you know this. That God qualifies the person that he calls. See, understand that God does not always call the person most qualified for the position but he qualifies the person who he calls not who man calls but who he calls you've been called by God you've been called by God and I want and I want to say to those of you listening to the sound of my voice stop giving God excuses God I can't do this God 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 you've been anointed to do it this oil has your name on it. You've been anointed to do it. Let me speak to the core of your spirit this morning. You've been anointed. You've been anointed. Do you hear me, children of God? You've been anointed to do it. You've been anointed to do it. See, David appeared to be the least qualified for the position. He never had a responsibility like this. He was the youngest of all of his brothers. He had no experience being a leader of people. He was a leader of animals, but not a leader of people. 
Externally, he was not qualified. But God was qualifying him as he went. God was qualifying him as, his, as he went. His father placed him in a position where he was out of sight. He wasn't on the mind of his father, but he was on the mind of God. Do you hear me, children of God? He wasn't on the mind of his father, but he was on the mind of God. He was not on the mind of his father, but he was on the mind of God. I come to encourage each and every one of you today. You are on the mind of God. You are on the mind of God. No matter what others might say, no matter what others might do, you are on the mind of God. David, even being a shepherd, the Lord developed skills in him needed for his next. What you've been doing, what you've been walking through, God has been developing you for your next. God has been developing you for your next. God has been shaping you. Whether you know it or not, you've been in the potter's house. You've been in the potter's house and he's making you and he's molding you and he's building you and he's strengthening you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been in the potter's house. God is preparing you for your next level of responsibilities. He is preparing you for the position that he's getting ready to appoint you. See, and let me step back a little bit and let me just say this to you. When God evaluated the hearts of Jesse's sons, he weighed out who would be the best fit as the next leader of Israel. He factored in all their training. He thought about all their potential. He thought about the hearts and the minds of each and every one of them. And then he decided to choose the youngest boy, David. Because God, God told Samuel to anoint David. Yes, he did. God told Samuel to anoint David. See, the anointing is for a purpose. The anointing is for a purpose. God decided the correct position for David to be in. I want to encourage each and every one of you today. And let me prophesy to those of you that are listening to the sound of my voice. And Luke 1, Luke, I'm sorry, Luke 4 and 18 in the New King James Version, it says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of the sight to the blind, to set at liberty to those who are oppressed. That same word that was upon Jesus is also upon us. Do you hear me? That same word. That same word. When we get anointed, when God anoints us, he will open up doors. When God anoints us, the enemy can't hold us down. When God anoints us, he will make things happen in this hour and this season. I come to let you know the oil has your name on it. Walk in your oil. Walk in your oil. Walk in your oil. Walk in your oil. Let me say this until this gets down in your spirit today. Walk in your oil. Do not allow the enemy to deter you. Do not allow the enemy to move you out. Ah, oh, walk in your oil, children. Walk in your oil. Walk in what God has ordained for your life. Walk in it, daughters. Walk in it, sons. Walk in what God has ordained for if you are or if God if God has anointed you to pray pray if God has anointed you to be an intercessor intercede as God has anointed you to be a warrior war if God has anointed you to be a prophet prophesy if God has anointed you to be a CSC if God has anointed you to be a teacher teach uh, if God has anointed you to walk in the apostolic walk in the apostolic uh, walk in the oil that God is giving you walk in the oil that because wherever that oil is uh, there is in divine enablement and in uh, and divine em endowment it's there it's there children it's there you need to walk in your oil walk in it walk in it walk in it Ah, uh, don't let the oil go to waste. Do you hear me, children? Uh, don't let the oil go to waste. Don't let the oil go to waste. Uh, God has found you. You, out of all the others, God put that oil on you. 
out of all he could have chosen those uh, oh you didn't come from a great a great uh, a great lineage of preachers and pastors and all those other things uh, but man looked at the outer appearance but God knows your heart he knows your heart children he knows your heart keep your heart right keep your heart pure keep your heart right keep your heart pure keep your heart right keep your heart pure don't let the enemy contaminate your heart and no matter where god takes you and what platforms he puts you on and whoever he might put you before or whatever things god might use you to do remember all the glory and all the honor goes to him. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, I thank you for your word today. Father, I thank you for your spirit. Father God, I thank you, Lord God, for sealing that which you have done in this room on today. What you have done on this line on today. Father God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord God, for you know what is needed, when it's needed, and how it's needed. And Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we hear your word. But Lord God, we we are not only going to be hearers of your word, uh, but Lord God, we're going to be doers also. Uh. Lord God, have your way in our lives, Father. Lord God, send the strength that is needed in this season, this time, and this hour. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for that, for, 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 for that which you have called for such a time as this. I, I thank you, Lord Jesus. I time by so I Lord God, that you are doing a new thing and it shall spring forth. Uh, Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are God and there is nobody like you. Uh, now, Lord God, send that which is needed in this hour. Send that which is needed in this time. Uh, Lord God, let us walk in the oil. Let us walk in the oil. Let us walk in the oil. Uh, let us walk in the oil in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord God, he kena masia, ribiki an sataya, ikoteri an soto bohoshia ya basia. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, many of you have been slowful in your ways, uh, but the Lord said, I'm putting fire in your feet. Uh, I'm putting fire in your seat. Ataya siya, oh baba basia. You will not be able to sit on this uh, in this next season. Uh, you will not be able to be slowful in this next season. And I, oh, but the fire of God shall be on you. Uh, the fire of God shall be pushing you. Uh, oh, you shall walk in what the Father has ordained and has spoken over your life. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, we thank you. We thank you for the word uh, that you've sent on today. Uh, Lord God, we know, Lord God, that the oil has our name on it. Uh, oh, we're not going to waste the oil. Uh, Lord, I'm a see, uh, we know the preciousness of it, Lord God. Uh, we thank you. Thank you for choosing us. Uh, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for selecting us. Uh, Lord God, now let us walk worthy. Uh of the vocation uh, and which you have called us to. Uh, let us walk worthy of it, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, uh, hey, my son, just like you anointed uh, Jesus of Nazareth uh, with the Holy Spirit and with power, uh, and he went about doing good and healing all those uh, who were sick and oppressed of the devil. Uh, Lord God, we thank you this morning uh, for anointing us uh, with the Holy Spirit and with power. Uh, we thank you, Lord God, uh, for doing a new thing uh, down in our bellies. Uh, we thank you, Lord God, uh, for the anointing. Uh, oh, Baba Sire, uh, and we pray right now, uh, from this day forward, uh, we shall see change. Uh, from this day forward, uh, we will we we will see breakthroughs. Uh, from this day forward, uh, I'm not saying uh, that the warfare will change, uh, but I'm saying uh, that you've given us the power uh, to walk through it and walk through it victoriously, because we are more than conquerors. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and Father, we thank you. Um, Father, we praise you. Uh, Father, we glorify your name. We thank you for what you're doing right now. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, and Father, we thank you, Lord God. Uh, Lord God, for when the anointing come, uh, uh, things will happen. Uh, uh, that things that we couldn't make happen. Uh, Lord God, you will make things happen. Uh, and Father, we thank you for it right now. Uh, we thank you, Lord God. I come against every spirit of the enemy uh, that tries to war with the people of God. Uh, I come against the spirit of the enemy uh, that tries to stop them in their tracks. Uh, I come against the spirit of the enemy uh, 
that tries to hinder them from going forth. Uh, we take authority over it right now in the name and by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, oh God, my God, uh, uh, charge your people this morning. Uh, charge them to their necks. 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 Uh, I feel a charge on the line this morning. Uh, I feel a charge on the line this morning. Uh, charge them to their necks. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, we thank you. Huh? Oh, God, have your way. Move by your spirit. Huh? Move by your power. Huh? And, Father, we thank you for it right now. Huh? And we give you praise. We give you glory. Huh? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You won't faint in the day of adversity. Huh? You won't faint in the day of adversity. I know it's hard, children. Huh? I know, I know, I, I know the pain. Huh? I know the hurt. Huh? I know the rejection huh? when you walk in the oil. Huh? Huh? But the Lord said, I've chosen you for such a time as this. Uh, I've given you what you need. Uh, I've given you what you need. Uh, oh, you can go through babies. You can go through victorious. Uh, you can go through babies. You can go through victorious. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 children. Uh, yeah, 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 children. Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, oh, you've been chosen. You've been, you've been chosen, you've been chosen, children. Ah, uh, uh, let him smear it all in you. Huh? Let him pour it all on you. Huh? Let him smear it all in you. Huh? Let him pour it all on you. Huh? Oh, my, my, now I see ya. Uh, Yes, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord God, give them the unction from the Holy Ghost. Uh, give them the unction from the Holy Ghost. Uh, Lord God, let their steps be ordered by you. Uh, Lord God, let your presence and your power be with them. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for equipping them uh, in this hour to walk in what you have called for them to walk in. Uh, and Father, we thank you. Uh, Father, we praise you. Uh, Father, we glorify you. Uh, and if they have not tapped into their oil, uh, Lord God, let the oil recognize them and they recognize the oil. Uh. Let the oil recognize them and they recognize the oil. Because uh. uh, David was chosen and the oil agreed. Uh, sha. David was chosen and the oil agreed. Uh. I come to let you know uh, that, that, that which is for you is for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, and Father, we thank you for it right now. Um, and we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor in Jesus' name. Come on, let's give our Father praise. Uh, come on, let's give him glory. Uh, come on, let's give him honor. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Uh, he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of the praise. Uh, He's worthy of the praise. I, I want to take a moment now. And some of you drop off. and But this is one of the most critical times. So some of you that's listening to the sound of my voice. And today the Lord places the spotlight on you. Uh huh. Your name is on this message. Uh, just like I talked about your name is on the oil. Your name is also on this message. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, God sent his son uh, into this world to die on a cross. Uh, so that our old sinful nature could be changed change into a new nature. Huh? All of us by nature are sinners, huh? but God through his son provided the gift of salvation huh? whereby we might suddenly be made righteous in his sight. Huh? Oh, I come to let you know huh? that if this word has stirred you, huh? if this word has changed you, huh? if this word has said, you know what, I want to connect to this God, huh? this God that did it for David, huh? I know that he can do it, do it for me. Huh? Uh, it's called salvation. Huh? And let me tell you something salvation is a choice huh? and you can make that choice right now yes you can you can make that choice right now in fact you are just a prayer away huh? the Bible says that if you confess with your mouth and Jesus is Lord yeah and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead huh? you will be saved huh? for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified huh? and it's with your mouth that you confess and are saved huh? uh, and that's found in Romans 10 9 and 10 huh? I I come to encourage you today uh, if you have heeded what I've said right now uh, and it's called a salvational call uh, and you're ready to make this declaration um, I want you to repeat after me uh, dear God uh, I know that I am a sinner and I confess that you are my Lord and my Savior I repent from my sins and I ask you for your forgiveness 
I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that you raised him from the dead. I confess that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior and I believe through his shed blood I have eternal life. Please come into my heart and fill me with your Holy Spirit. Father, I pray this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me and prayed it earnestly and from your heart, let me tell you something. You are saved. You are saved. You are saved. Yeah, your sins have been forgiven and you are now one in the body of Christ. And I want to be the first, just like the many of those that are on the line we're gonna welcome you to the body of christ we welcome you you we are ah, yeah we welcome you we welcome you to the body of christ we welcome you yes 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 we all have walked down this path we've all have may have made this confession and it was one of the best choices we've ever made Everything's not perfect, but one thing you know, that you will not be in it by yourself. Yes, you will not be, be in it by yourself. If you like more information, you could call the ministry number at 1-888-950-8048. Again, 1-888-950-8048. There'll be someone to pray with you, somebody to encourage you, somebody to strengthen you, somebody to build, to build you up, and... You need to get connected to a good Bible-based church. Come con connect with us. We would love to have you. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, even if there is just one, I am grateful for the one. I am grateful for the one. You might be hearing it live. You might be hearing it on the replay it might be a month two months three months from now and you come across this live and it changes your life the number is always open the number is always open and we're excited about what god has done in your life this day amen amen and i want to thank the many of you that have taken the time to be with me today uh for those of you that would like that would like to sow it is on the screen uh my paypal my zell i gotta put the um the uh cash app there for those of you that want to do cash app is dollar sign dr tanya w dollar sign dr tanya w or there's the pay the information for paypal is there the information for zell i don't ask for a specific amount you give as how god has blessed you to give you give if you've been blessed by this message this message has encouraged you this message has strengthened you this message has built has built you up i thank god for you i thank god for you and for those of you that have been with me and you know you don't have those platforms you know what you do with your envelope you put it in in your envelope but i'm just so grateful for the many of you that have been blessing, that have been sowing, that's been building, I thank God for you. I thank God for you. Thank you, Doreen, for putting the cash up. I have another banner with the cash up, but I forgot to put it up there. See, I told you I'm my own tech person today. I think I did pretty good, but next next week I'm going to actually have tech people do it for me. But, um... Again, I pray and pray that this word has blessed you. I pray and pray that this world word has built you up. I pray that this word has strengthened you. And again, you know, however the Lord has blessed you on today, come and sow. Uh, I believe that, you know, as you sow into good seed, you will be blessed. Again, join me. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6.30 a.m. for the Aroma Prayer. Saturdays, we've been having some church on Saturdays. Join the Power Gathering Group. It's a group, join the Power Gathering Group. The reason why I made it a group is like a mini church. So there's a lot of things would go on in that group, that type of thing. So you could come, you could be a part of us. Uh, we pray for people and to see for people other different things that we do. So come be a part of the Power Gathering. And then on Sunday mornings, join me 9 a.m. For the, uh, for the Power Sunday. Amen. I thank you so, so much for taking the opportunity to, to, to be with me on, on him today. I thank God for what he's doing in the lives of his people. And again, I pray that the Lord continues to bless us, build us, and strengthen us, and keep us to where we go. So again, thank you so much for joining me this morning on power sunday i pray that you are blessed i pray that you are encouraged i pray that you were strengthened most of all i pray that god continues to do a great work through you and and his word will not fall to the ground you will be what god has called you to be 
let me just say that one thing. Let me close with that. Let me get my notes. Hold on. Ha. Ah, repeat after me. From this day forward. Yes, sir. From this day forward, I will be, I will have, I will do. Because my name is on the oil. Yes, sir. From this day forward, I will be, I will have, I will do. Because my name is on the oil. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Have a blessed, wonderful, and awesome day. In Jesus' name. God bless you, everybody.